Alright, so today we're going to look at a technique called spot color in uh, Photoshop uh, where somebody takes a photo that was originally shot in color and removes all the color from the photo except for one area that they really want to highlight for dramatic or artistic effect uh, like in this photo here, this handsome little guy is wearing a bright yellow t-shirt and I've uh, taken all the color out of the photo except for that t-shirt. Um, this photo, this uh, particular technique can be used for other types of effects also, um, but uh, we're going to look at the uh, spot color use of the technique today. So the first thing you need is a photo that was shot in color. Uh, should be obvious, but I'll point that out. Our original photo here is a JPEG which is probably the most common format that you would uh, encounter on a daily basis. But of course Photoshop can use any number of photo formats. Now the tool that we're going to use is the quick selection tool in the toolbar on the left. It kind of looks like a little paint brush with a squiggly line around it. If you click and hold on that, uh, sometimes you'll see the, uh, the magic wand tool there. It's hidden under the quick selection tool. So one of those may be displayed at any given time depending on which one was the last one used and we'll be using the quick selection tool. And once you select that, if you look up at the top you'll see that there are a couple of different modes that the quick selection tool can operate in. There's the uh, default new selection, the uh, add to selection ha has a little plus sign, and the minus or subtract from selection has a little minus sign above it. You can also adjust the size of the uh, selection uh, brush. Um, the one that I like to use generally is uh, the Add to Selection tool because I usually find that I'm going to have to click a couple times to get the area that I that I want just right. So put it in the put it in the Add to mode, and then come down here to the to your photo, and we're going to click and drag in the area. Uh, in which we want to retain the color. So for this particular photo it would be the t-shirt. So I'm going to just put the uh, little crosshairs inside the t-shirt and click and drag. And as I do that you'll see that the uh, the marquee there expands to capture that entire region. Now what Photoshop looks for is lines uh, between areas of different contrast or different color so the t-shirt is kind of bright, the grass is a little bit darker, uh, the t-shirt is yellow, the grass is green, and uh, so Photoshop looks at that and it tries to figure out where the where the edge is of the area that you want. It's not perfect, so you'll notice here that Photoshop accidentally got a little bit of grass here and it left out the uh, logo on the front of the shirt and that's because the uh, the grass in this particular area the contrast is similar to the contrast of the shirt right here. There's not a, a big difference in the lightness or darkness of those two things. And then here it didn't get this because the logo is dark and the shirt is light. So Photoshop got a little confused and thought that um, we did not want that logo. So that's no problem. We can fix that very easily. Since we're in the add to selection mode still, I can click and drag down here in this area where that logo is and it will add that area to our selection. And it got a little bit extra. Again that's no problem. I'm going to come back up to the modes up here. I'm going to select the uh, subtract mode that has a little minus sign on it. I'm come back down and now I'm going to click and drag in the area that I don't want and it's going to subtract that area from the selection. And you can do this a couple times to get it just right. Just kind of drag and drag and get that, and drag and drag and get that. A little bit there, and a little bit there. Okay. It doesn't have to be exact if you're, uh, if you're generally pretty close uh, within a couple of pixels or so the effect is going to be pretty decent. So now I've got the area selected that I want to have color. And then I'm going to come up to the menu at the top where it says select. 
and I'm going to invert the selection so that the part that I have selected will be unselected and the part that is unselected will be selected. So you just hit select and then inverse. And you'll see that now there's a marquee around the outside of the photo as well. And that shows us that this area outside the t-shirt is now what is selected. Okay, and we did that because we're going to apply a filter to this to every part of the photo except for the t-shirt. Okay. So if you come over to the right side where you see the adjustments panel, there are a number of different uh, adjustments that you can add as filters to the photo. For this particular uh, uh, technique, I'm going to use black and white because uh, spot color is what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on the black and white to apply that to all that photo except for the t-shirt. And you can see the effect right there. Uh, you can also add things like tint to that black and white. So here's like a sepia tone type tint um, if you wanted to go for that kind of Instagram old photo type look you can do that. You can play around with that. Now you'll note that over here in the layers panel there are now two layers. There's a background layer which is the original photo and then there's a black and white layer. That layer is the black and white filter that we added and you can you can turn that on and off or you can edit it so sometimes you apply a filter and you're not really crazy about you know how it turned out so you might go back and tweak the filter a little bit adjust it a little, a little bit and get uh, get it just how you want it okay so the the other thing that that uh, I want to note about that is that originally we had a JPEG file if we just apply the filter and then save this file what's going to happen is these layers are going to go away so they'll no longer be adjustable if you save the file as a Photoshop format file a .psd file though this layer information will be retained so you can see here I've, I've already saved this file one time as, as a .psd file and uh, you would do that just by going to file save as uh, and it'll give you an option to save it as a Photoshop file and so later on if I want to come back and tweak that I can reopen that file and tweak it now this file is kind of a large file size when it's in the Photoshop format so if you were actually going to use this on a website or in a design you might not want to use the Photoshop format. You'd want to keep a copy of the Photoshop format in case you need to change it, but the one you would actually use in your design would probably be a JPEG. And so you go to File, Save for Web and Devices, pick a JPEG or whatever format you need, hit Save. And then what I like to do, instead of saving over the original file, is I like to add something like a 2 or a 3, depending on how many versions of the file you have save it as a different file name that way you uh, you never lose your original file you can always go back to it so there you have it that's how you can apply uh, spot color to a photo again you can use that the quick selection tool uh, to apply filters for other types of, of, of techniques as well but uh, spot color is the one that we looked at today so I hope that was helpful